Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. We're back at 17 till the hour. Thank you very much. Hanging out with me, thanks for being part of my day. I'm Jim Blasingame, and you're listening to the Small Business Advocate Show, and I'm glad you're here. That's my website, too, smallbusinessadvocate.com. Check it out when you get a chance. We're having a great visit with our good friend Cam Fine. Cam is the president of the and CEO of Independent Community Bankers of America, Independent Community Bankers of America, ICBA.org, an organization that I am proud to be a member of and proud to to support with everything that I can do because they support independent banks, locally owned banks who support locally owned small businesses, Main Street small businesses. You're starting to see the connection here, right? Uh, between Chambers of Commerce and independent community banks, they're the best friends a small business owner ever had. And so, uh, Cam, thanks again for the hard work that you guys do. You're working hard to to differentiate between the too big to fail debate that's going on right now for the big banks, the Wall Street banks. That's and, correct. And to differentiate uh, that, between them and your independent community banks, where is that debate and how are you doing? How's that fight going? Well, I think we're gaining ground. Um, essentially, what's happened in this country over the last uh, 20 years is that there has been a group, a very small group of, of mega banks rise that the government has now, because of the, the Great Recession, said is so big that they can't fail. Just 10 banks out of 7,000, there are 7,000 banks in this mm-hmm. country, just 10 of them control 77% of all the banking assets. And the government has deemed them too big to fail, which is um, outrageous in a nation founded on free enterprise and free markets. Because can I stick something else in here, Cam, that, that, yes. that we learned in the last year, I think, and you can speak to this. We also now found that the government has determined that the people who created the problems that, we, that caused the 2008 crash were, are, are actually pre, uh, leaders of, of, of banks that make them too big to prosecute. Yes, too big to jail, as we think call about it. That. Uh, Not too big to fail, but, but think about that, folks. They, they actually re- refused to prosecute the people who broke laws because they were afraid that would cause some kind of a stock market crash. It, you know, that's exactly right. It's outrageous, Jim. We're supposed to be a nation where everybody has an equal chance to succeed or fail, and if you break the law, you break the law. But That was the answer. Case, By the way, Cam, that was the answer to my question. That I've been asking for five years, for four years, I kept asking, why isn't anybody in jail? And I got my answer last year. Yes, you did, because the Attorney General of the United States, in testimony before Congress, was asked directly, why haven't you prosecuted anybody? And he said, we're concerned about the economic fallout if we would prosecute an executive from one of the too big to fail banks. Jim, that's outrageous. It, it is unbelievable, and yet, and yet nobody covered it, really. No, no. I mean, uh, the media covered it for a couple of days, and uh, the ICBA was jumping up and down, and we were we were saying, "Wait a minute! You mean our bankers can be prosecuted for breaking the law? But if you come from a bank that is too big to fail, you can just walk away with your bonus in your hand?" Yeah, that, that's just not right. Not in the United States of America. That's not right. I'm, I actually know an independent bank president who did something sort of equivalent to what they did on Wall Street, he's now in jail. Yeah, and uh, do you know that right now there are 500 uh, directors and officers of small banks across the country that are either being sued civilly or in the criminal courts for things that happened two and three and four years ago. And yet the CEOs of the the mega banks and their boards of directors from that same time period that were doing the same thing are just walking away mm-hmm. what what kind of country is this and then, and then we laugh at and then and then we make people make fun of 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 folks who who talk about conspiracies yeah and and <laughs> uh, believe me well we 
it was all confirmed when the attorney general said that's yes right. they do hesitate to uh, that's prosecute. right that's the truth yeah what, what yeah, else i mean to... we, we've got we've got two banking systems we've got the too big to fail and we have the too small to save mm. and the only the only banks that are operating in the free market are the community banks they're they're free to succeed and they're free to fail the too big to fail banks use our money they use house money taxpayer money to do their London whale activities and to cheat on the interest rates and so forth. And then when they get in trouble, they, the government bails them out. That's the not the kind of, of America the we of want. Billions of dollars and, and, in, and including the Fed pumping $87 billion a month into them. Yes, uh, guaranteeing their, their balance sheets. It is. It, now, there is a bill in Congress. Senate Bill 798, and I want all your listeners to write their members of the Senate and even the House members, get behind it. It's called the Brown-Vitter Too-Big-to-Fail Bill. It's the Brown-Vitter TBTF Senate Bill 798, and um, they need to get behind that bill because Brown-Vitter, the Brown-Vitter Bill, basically says if you want to play casino banking, you too-big-to-fail banks, you've got to use your own money not the taxpayers' money, right. and nobody's going to bail you out. And they need to get behind that bill. Well, the thing that concerns me, Cam, and I wrote about this, I warned about this over a year ago, about a year and a half ago, all this, this the casino stuff still going on. Oh, and, yes. and, the Fed, yes. and the Fed is helping them. And what I've said is all those guys in the big banks, they're, they're getting rich again. Small banks and local businesses are not getting rich again. But when they cause this thing to crash again, which I believe it's all, we're, we're setting up for another one of these, then, then they're going to have their money and they're going to be out, and we're going to go down with the economy. That's what I'm worried about. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Cam Fine to talk some more about this after we come back after these messages. Ten till, I'm Jim Blastingame. Remember, cba.org. That's Cam's website. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.